Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, um, I, I fucked up yesterday, alright? I fucked up really, really hard. I went, <laughs> I went with lunch, or I went to lunch with a friend of mine, a really old friend of mine, and we, we just went full fatty mode for like the entire day. And after I got home and recorded that video, my stomach just went through the worst pain imaginable. Um, yeah, and I, I just basically uh, decided to, to, to just uh, lie down and go to sleep or some shit like that. But I'm back today to make more content. Um, this is my daily update video where I share my progress and everything with you guys. So first things first, I have a... Um, oh yeah, I, I actually popped a few eggs yesterday. Like I, I, I did it off camera, but it was only like five eggs or something. And I, I happened to get this guy. I gave up on the eggs like last time when I summoned like 20 eggs or 30 or I can't remember how many eggs and I got like absolutely nothing so I was like okay fuck it I'm gonna just I'm gonna just uh I'm gonna just summon and hopefully I get something good or actually no I, I actually was planning to get three stars I wasn't planning on getting anything good um and then it, it, it happened like I got a lightning and um and boom nat 5 um I think he's pretty strong he has predator like this is this, in my opinion, is one of the strongest passives, I think. Predator is really, really strong. Um, seals also... Yeah, seal, seal, AoE Seal is really strong as well, so I think he's definitely going to be a beast in the arena. Um, probably not going to raise him too soon, because I, I do have some other things that I want to work on. So, I, I've been trying to farm B10 with this team. Um, it's not really stable, it's actually really unstable. I was thinking, like, originally I was thinking of switching out the Arthur and putting another, like, self-sustainer. Like, um, the, the Wood Boltwing or the... Or actually just gemming up my, um, my Fire Succubus and getting her, her to 6 stars. Or maybe running, like, the Fire Vampire to run, like, a self-sustain comp. Um, I don't think that's going to work anymore because the... The, like, after the dev notes, I, I realized that, um, it's gonna be... The changes to the attack down and defense down are going to be affecting that comp quite a lot. Um, first of all, like the monsters that use um, that use like HP siphon that restore HP based on damage dealt, they they need to do a lot of damage. Like they need to actually you know hit pretty hard in order for them to regenerate the the amount of damage back. Right now, attack down isn't all that important. Like it's all it's not really significant because the way attack down works right now. Um, is it cuts the the white portion of your attack in half um, so like you know altogether I might have around um, you know 5,900 um, attack and after it, it being cut in half I, I'll lose I'll lose like a thousand two hundred so I'll still have like four thousand um, four thousand seven hundred ish attack left which isn't all that much like it's still it's still you know I can still live with it um, but the way attack down is going to be changed is it's going to be affecting the the um, the white portion of your attack and the yellow portion of your attack, the bonus portion of your attack as well. So what this means is it's your your all your like your total attack damage is going to be cut completely in half um, if if attack down lands on your 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 unit. So yeah, that's really really bad. Like it's it's going to be affecting. Um, you know a lot of new comps for B10 quite a lot because the golem has attack down and the same thing like the um, defense down is also be going to be working the same way now it used to just cut your defense in half so but now it's going to cut your defense and your um, you know your bonus defense your total defense in half which is actually quite a lot because you know this like what this means is like defense aggressors might have a much harder time against the golem like because even if you have like a light victoria that has like you know 10k um defense and you're fighting the golem um i guess the golem probably isn't isn't that much of a problem if you have a <laughs> light victoria with 10k defense um but like you know it used to just it used to just be like you would lose a thousand five hundred defense if the defense down landed what it means now is you're going to be losing like five thousand defense you know the moment you you know the armor break lands on your unit which is actually quite a huge change like it's really really big and what this means is like it's gonna be much much harder for for any comp to to run b10 um, besides sapper comps I think the only thing that isn't affected by this change is sapper comps like it's 
it's still gonna be effective because you know uh, defense down is still gonna affect your 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 units quite a lot but if you have a good balance of defense and HP um, it's not gonna matter that much so I was thinking of reverting back to my original plan and just uh, building up this comp again just to just to do golden speed 10 stably and then maybe in the future once I have like really really good gems I can start um, you know thinking about the, going back to nukers and stuff because th the way I see it right now, my my plan of running a self-sustained comp isn't gonna work. I can't pretty I can't really run a aggressor comp anymore because you know the the armor break. Um, so it's gonna be really really hard. I think like Golden Speed 10 is definitely gonna be a lot harder after the after the change. Um, so I think I probably should revert back to my my plan of running a a sapper comp because saps aren't aren't affected by attack down and Unlike defense aggressors, like they're not gonna be all. I'm not gonna be all stacking defense. I'm gonna have a pretty good balance of HP and defense, and then like have good recovery as well. So I'm gonna be able to just basically sustain my team and stay alive um, while I land the saps and eventually kill the golems, or eventually kill the golem. Um, so I was thinking of doing something like that. I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. I'm basically just gonna build them all really, really tanky. I mean, there's no there's no accuracy stat in the game, so th your your chances of landing sap um, isn't going to be affected by any other stat. So all I really need to do on this comp is make them re all really really tanky, and then slap like one recovery rune on the siren because she has some self sustain, so she won't she won't get killed too easily. Um, yeah, hopefully 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 everything works out well. I was thinking of a lot of comps that I might be running for for B10. I was thinking of running like a, you know, a, a full aggressor comp, um, but the the changes to the armor break is gonna kill the Dark Sea Star. I mean, if I run like a full HP aggressor comp, it it wouldn't matter, but I don't have a good leader skill if I if I do that. Like I I really wish I had a variant Cupid to feed him and then make make his uh his Grace of Life skill like active. But you can't always have what you want, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So that's um, you know I'm I'm just thinking about what I want to build in the future. But right now I'm I'm sort of leaning to going like going back to my original plan of running the sapper comp. I mean it did delay my plans quite a bit of by by raising him to to um, to uh, six stars and maxing out a lot of my gems. Like I'm really short on gold now, but I can definitely farm this back in a few days. So, like, within this week, I should be able to raise all these to 6 stars and start farming Golem Speed 10 again. Um, and, like, before next week, before the change. So, yeah, that's... That's pretty much it, alright? That's all I got. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll... Yeah, I'll definitely be making a lot more videos today, and I'll see you guys in the future. Peace out.